Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be previewing our second Champions League game against Sporting Lisbon away tomorrow night. Now, going into this game, uh, especially after drawing against Schalke in the first uh, game of the group, we really need to win this game. But I still do think there's going to be some rotation in the squad, bearing in mind we do play Arsenal on Sunday. Now, of course, the rotation that I expect to see is, of course, up front. I expect Loic Remy to start. I really want Loic Remy to start, um, just because I think Drobbit isn't match fit yet, and... Maybe if against Maribor, for instance, we can give him some time in the next Champions League game. Um, but for me, we've got to win this game. So putting out Luik Remy will give us an option. He's got pace. So on the counter, will be really good. And Kos Costa isn't fully fit to play two games in a week. We've got to rest him for Sunday, which I'm sure is way more important than the Sporting Lisbon game. But the Sporting Lisbon is still an important game. Don't forget that. And it's not going to be a rollover. So I still think we're going to see key players playing, but maybe some rotation, especially up front. Now talking about Sporting Lisbon, um, we haven't played them before, I don't think. I think any Chelsea historians out there can prove me wrong, but especially um, in the time we've been in the Champions League, I can't remember Chelsea playing Sporting Lisbon, so this is going to be quite interesting. And um, they've got a few decent players, um, especially like Nani, who has moved from Manchester United um, to Sporting for a, a loan deal. We're not sure if he's going to go back there. Um, my personal opinion, he'll probably just leave and go back to Portugal um, because he hasn't been playing well at Man United. But he can score a few brilliant goals, um, a few against Chelsea. He did score a really good uh, individual goal in the last game against Maribor. Um, so he has got talent, um, but it's how consistent he is. And I, I, I do believe he's a very inconsistent player that plays well in some games and just doesn't in others. So it's going to be interesting as well. Of course, as well, they've got the player that Arsenal desperately want, which is uh, William Carvalho. Um, he's probably one of the best holding fielders out there. And really, he, he you look at what Arsenal haven't got, and they need him. He's this guy. He's, he's basically like Matic, but he's so good in that position. And that's one thing we're going to be have to be wary of. He's really good for Sporting Lisbon because he can, as all good defensive midfielders do, they break up play and they, they stop attack. So it's going to be difficult to get past him because he's of such a high quality. Um, so he's probably that one, probably one of their key players. So he's going to be wanted to perform against us to prove that he is up to that level. So then uh, going on, I, I just think. We will be too strong for Sporting Lisbon. I think we can put in a good performance. Um, in terms of rotation, I do expect in terms of the team, I'm going to go for Couture in goal, um, Aspilicreta at right back, Jason Cahill centre backs, uh, Felipe Luis gets back in the team, um, and then in midfield, I'm going to put Fabregas and Matic, three behind the striker. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes 4 3 3 and puts Ramirez in midfield. So I'll stick with that actually. I'll go 4 3 3. Ramirez in midfield, so Fabregas, Matic, and Ramirez. Um, wings, Hazard, and uh, William, because I think he played well on Saturday. And then up front, Luke Remy. So give me your predictions. I think we're going to win maybe 2 1. I think it will be close, but I do think we'll come out on top in the end. Uh, but give your predictions, give your team predictions. Um, and hey, yeah, hopefully we can come up with a win and, and really uh, keep the momentum going up to that big game on Sunday. So, quick preview today, guys. Let's hope we get the first three points in our Champions League campaign this year. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea, and uh, yeah, I'll see you.